I just wanted to finish off also with this uh, one thing that we we see very often is that uh, when you discuss issues of peace and security <coughs> or you discuss you know preventing violent extremism or you talk about terrorism uh, or you talk about development you know all of these issues is very often you sort of frame women as victims mm -hmm. uh, and this is I think something that is is a very important part in in my foreign ministers and in sort of in our policies is to really try to be a little bit uh, more realistic about how the world looks like you know women are not victims we are also victims sometimes as men are um, but there is women are most and foremost actors mm. uh, so I would like to leave you with that and what actors could mean uh, it can mean a lot of different things in different settings of course but I think that is uh, uh, is I think an important thing to always bear in mind. So thank you so much for listening. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Irina. Uh, and leaving off with women as actors, that, that gives us an opportunity to open, to open the discussion once again. Um, I'd like to call on uh, those of you who would have comments or questions, please, for either one of our um, guests. We can, uh, we can resume our, our discussion. Who would like to continue? Please, Akil. Uh, hi, I have a question on feminist foreign policy. When you say feminist foreign policy, what do you mean? As in, since feminism is still a partisan issue in most parts of the world, we saw with the Alabama elections with 65% women voting for the candidate who was accused of sexual assault. So if it's a partisan issue, then what is feminist foreign policy? Also, we've had leaders who are women as prime ministers, presidents, we've had foreign secretaries as women, and do you think there's been a stark change between men in the same role with women in that role? Especially women who consider themselves as feminists in that role? Thank you. Sure, yeah, thank you. That's a good question as well. I, I would, even if that might not be, be politically correct of me to say so, I would say that maybe they don't have a feminist foreign policy mm -hmm. in Alabama. It doesn't seem to have at least trickled out in the uh, you know, in the larger community. So maybe that would be a good idea to, for them to, to have. Uh, I think, you know, uh, equality and uh, if you talk about feminism, I think it's, it's something that is going to take time to, to change that mindset. And I think we all over the world, no matter what l country you come from, uh, the same goes for my own country, is that we still have a very male-dominated culture. Uh, and that is going to take time to change. But I think if we don't talk about it, and if we can't use the words that are there for us, that actually symbolizes that, then there is a no starter. Uh, so I think that is a lot what feminist foreign policy is about, is to actually put that name out there and say, this is what we think is important, that we need to work towards that equality. It doesn't mean that every country in the world will agree with us, but you know, that is what we have to stand for what we believe. And then you know, if others agree, that's up to them in a way. So you know, maybe we, uh, we need to go to Alabama and talk to them, but uh, who knows. And on your second question, I think it's, it's a misconception to think that just because you're a woman, you're a feminist. Uh, there are a lot of men that are feminists. Uh, my prime minister is one of them. Uh, I, I think my husband is one. I need to check that. Um, <laughs> Uh, I think most <laughs> most people actually would be would be willing to say that they stand for what feminism, you know, as a basic, you know, what that is. You know, I think most people would say it's 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 right to give girls and boys equal access to education. <coughs> I think so. Uh, but if you would then say so, that means you're a feminist, and oh no no no, you know. So maybe we, it's just that word that has. Uh, you know, issues with it. So it doesn't mean that just because you're a female politician that you would care about those things. I'd just like to add that, <clears throat> you know, the, the thinking, I, and I come from a part of the world where there's wariness to the wor word feminist, mm -hmm. because the thinking is that it's pro-women and anti-men, mm -hmm. and feminist is not. Feminist is pro-men as well, because we are, what we are looking for is an equal society, a just society. Mm -hmm. And when there's justice, everybody benefits, the girls and boys and the men and women too. So it's, it's, it's not about promoting one gender over another, it's about promoting an equal society where everybody is benefiting. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that is something that really needs to get across because it's, um, I think the reason why 
the term feminist is uh, given the negative um, connotations is because it's it's women want to replace men in the you know in uh, in the dominant role and and do to men what men have done to women all along and that's not what it's about at all and i think we we really need to explain that it's about it's about addressing patriarchy and the patriarchal norms which which have been the detriment to the well-being of mankind humankind <laughs>